Hey everyone, FM Journeyman here, and welcome back to A Dolphin Cell. This is episode 9, and today we have two big games, one against Concord and the other against Chelmsford, and uh, we are in the midst of a relegation battle, so we're hoping for six points today. Hey everyone, once again, welcome back to A Dolphin's Tale. So uh, without further ado, we'll jump into t straight into today's game, just because there's been no games in between the last episode and today. So this is the lineup we'll go for. We'll go for a uh, kind of a weird, um, we'll actually go for a diamond. We'll go for a diamond formation with Moore and the uh, front of the diamond. Cooper playing the, um, obviously, the uh, anchorman role with uh, Bulbagi on the left, Wakefield on the right, with Low and Unlove up top. The back line is Slocum, Sakuna, Chris, Williams, and Raconi. All right, so uh, let's kick off today's game. Obviously, we want to get a win today. Concord are also doing very well on the table. They are 58 points. Uh, they are ninth in the table. So a very tough opposition. The media thinks it's going to be a win for Concord. Honestly, uh, I want to get a win today. Um, if not, I'll take a draw. Honestly, I'll take anything at this point. It's pretty much a desperate season, unfortunately. All right, so we're about eight minutes in, and it looks like Sean Cooper's picked up a knock. He was struggling uh, at the end of last game. I'm going to have to make a change here. Dean Pooley is going to come on it for him, and he's going to sit just in front of the back line. I actually think he could do a good job there. He's a pretty solid center half, so he might do that role well. All right, here's a highlight. Uh, Delavade to a McKee. Solid build-up play here from Concord. McKee to Della Verde. Good tackle from Slocum. Bulbagi looks up the counter attack. Paulie gets the ball, gives it away. Cole shoots from about 25 yards out, and what a goal from Ali Cole. That is his 11th goal of the season. Great hit. Just peeled off his man with just enough space and uh, found the back end. And obviously disappointing to the, for Paulie to lose it there. But a, a great finish there from distance. Raconi had absolutely no chance in a goal. Here's a chance. Verde shoots and makes it 2-0 from free kick. Della Verde makes it 2-0. All right, so let's go to attacking style. We've got nothing to lose. We've got to try and get back in this game as quickly as we can. Great free kick from Della Verde. Again, Raconi had absolutely no chance. But uh, a great free kick from the right winger. All right, so we're just about approaching halftime here. Things are still 2-0, and we haven't had much luck going forward either. If you look in the top left-hand corner from the match stats, four shots on goal, 57% session. The position is good, um, but apart from that, nothing else is really going our way. So um, I'm going to give the guys a bit of a team talk. Let's see if we can motivate them for the second half. Naturally, we have nothing to lose going forward here. Uh, we just got to try and get as many points as we can. Um, let's move... Let's keep things the way they are right now. Um, let's switch these to support just so it gives the back line a little bit more protection. It's not really ideal in this situation, but I'm pretty sure, honestly, I'm willing to try anything at this point in time. So I'm going to put Low as an attacking forward and Unlove can stay as a poacher. I do have Reese Connolly on the bench in case we want to make a change early on. All right, so about 60 minutes in here. Here's another highlight. Um, Concord looking to uh, capitalize on our poor defensive uh, display so far. Paulie has brought down someone, and he's on a yellow card, and that's a second yellow card and a red card for Dean Paulie. You know, he came on the field um, early in the uh, first half, and he's picked up two yellow cards here, and that's really, really left us with a lot of problems. Um, all right, we're going to have three in midfield. Let's bring off Bell Baggy, I suppose, bring on Gleason. Uh, Gleason can operate as a ball winning midfielder. Wakefield, let's put him as a let's put him as centre midfielder, make him support, and Kobe Moore can just be like a I don't know a deep line playmaker. Yeah, we'll roll with that. Obviously, uh, two 0 down, not playing very well. Down to ten men now, not ideal. Uh, Verde shoots from distance, but this time straight into the hands of Evandro Raconi. Things really couldn't get much worse. Uh, as soon as I say that, Harold, here's maybe a chance. Concord, uh, good good clearance there from Williams. Only as far as Maloney, good tackle from Wakefield. Saguna hits it long to low, low to unlove. Unlove through on goal, one on one, shoots, and a good save from Gladhill. That was a great opportunity for Lee Unlove to get uh, one goal back for us and keep us alive. More whips us in. Normally the clearance, but only as far as Williams. Williams hoists it back into low, who flicks it on. Oh, it doesn't count. He was offside. 
Oh, I thought we got back in the game there. All right, Wyatt to Cole. Cole to Maloney. Good tackle from Wakefield. He's on a yellow card. He's got to be careful. Uh, Moran with the uh, Moran with the uh, interception. Plays it back to his goalkeeper. Glad Hill will he use it for. Looks for Maloney. Williams as well to win the header, but only as far as Stokes. Stokes to McKee. McKee gives it away to Gleason. He's making his debut today. Uh, Jamal Lowe. What the hell was that? Cole is through on goal after beating Chris and scores. He makes it 3-0. And that's pretty much killed the game right there. Let's look at the league table. Looks at like Hungerford and Gosport and Margate are all losing. So that's at least a kind of a consolation, the fact that we're doing as well as just the other teams around us. But naturally, being 3-0 down at home is never, ever a good thing. Here's maybe another chance here for Concord. Ball hit long to Cole. Cole, good tackle from Williams. And Sakuna is going to look forward here. Not many people to aim at. He does find Jamal Lolo. Jamal Lolo uh, to Wakefield to Williams. Wakefield to Gleason. Gleason hits it long. Finds Jamal Lowe. One on one with the keeper. Gets past his man and scores. Makes it 3 1. Consolation goal here in the 73rd minute. Jamal Lowe, that's his fourth goal of the season. Great finish. Good ball from Jamie Gleason. Um, great ball forward and a very good finish there from Jamal Lowe. I was hoping to do a lot more than that. A uh, lot, more, lot more of that when he signed for us, but uh, he's been disappointing to say the least. All right, Williams plays to Wakefield. Wakefield to Moore. Moore to Williams. Williams hits it long. Jamolo has another opportunity here. Pulls it back to Unlove, who makes it 3-2. Three, three, We're not on. We're, this game isn't over yet. 3-2. Wow, this is a kind of a kind of a shocking turn of events. Great play from Lowe. Pulls it back to Unlove. And he made absolutely no mistake. We've got five minutes left to go. Let's switch to overload. You never know. We could pull this one out. All right, so uh, two minutes for added on time here. Looks like we might just run out of time, but that was uh, that got exciting towards the end there. I thought we were going to pull back in this. Stokes gives it back to Moran. Moran hits it long to Cole, to Maloney. Maloney, good tackle from Sakuna. He's going to try and set up the counter-attack, but it's too late. Full-time whistle has blown. We've lost 3-2 to Concord. Obviously, I am happy we kind of fought to the end there. We've got two goals back to make things a little bit more interesting. But... Uh, a uh, defeat, unfortunately, has happened. And Cooper will be out now two to three days. Um, he may miss the Chelmsford game. Not quite sure. Paulie will definitely after being sent off. So we have Chelmsford in just a week's time. I'm going to go ahead and jump cut until the uh, start of that game. All right, everyone. Here we go up against Chelmsford away from home. I've gone for another formation change. You know what? Because, you know, I've just got to try something new. Because things just really aren't working for us. So what I've done is I've gone forward the back with that holding midfielder that I want to try. And I want to see if that helps protect the back line. Three midfield of Gleason, Moore and Wakefield with Lowe and Gillespie leading the line. I'm hoping uh, that change will spur us on to a positive result. Um, elsewhere, Gosport are playing well in away. So that's a tough fixture for them. I, they'll probably lose that one. Hungerford are playing Whitehawk away. They will... I'm pretty much sure they will definitely use that one. And then Margate are playing St. Albans away from home. Again, that's a very tough fixture. It is most likely a defeat for them. So a positive result is worth double today, considering that they will probably lose those fixtures. So here we go with this team talk. I'm going to try and raise morale just as much as I possibly can. We're starting off in a counter-attacking system, and I would be very, very happy with a point today, just as some kind of positive result, some momentum going forward into the last few weeks of the season. All right, so uh, 12 minutes in, and we have lost Jamal Lowe. That's a bit of a blow up top. He's a very, very talented striker. So instead, I'm going to bring on Reese Connolly, who um, I'm actually going to play as a target man. Haven't used him in that role yet, so I'm not sure how well this is going to go, but I'm going to do the old uh, target man and poacher uh, partnership with uh, Gillespie and Connolly. Let's see if that can spur on some attacking, attacking uh, quality. Here's a chance for Chelmsford. Roberts to Reese. Reese to McGregor, McGregor to Scapitas, to Dixon in the box. Great save from Raconi. He's got to be in his best form today to try and keep Chelmsford at bay. Here's a corner. Reese whips it in and good good take in the air there from Raconi. 
Again, he's going to have to come up big for us today if we are to stand a chance of getting a good result. All right, McGregor shoots and scores in the extra time just before halftime. He makes it 1-0 with a beautiful free kick. Giovanni McGregor, that's his first goal of the season. Let's take another look at the replay. Obviously disappointing to see just before halftime, but that was a fantastic free kick. We can see too many free kicks in and around the box. Not sure why that's happening though. Um, they, they're getting stuck in, but they're not really... I haven't told the boys to get like... I mean, if you look at my instructions... I mean, not really closing down more. We're not really getting stuck in. So I'm not understanding why we're giving away so many free kicks on the edge of the area. Um, all right, so we are just 1-0 down. We're still in this game. Um, results around us are looking pretty okay. I think Gosport are drawing. I think that's the only result that's kind of gone against us. Um, but we do have time to get back in this game. All right, Reese has ripped this ball in and a good take the air from Raconi. Raconi is... Oh, it just gives the ball away. Yeah, why not? Yeah, that'll work. Just give the ball away. Uh, Reese back to Wolfenden to McGregor. McGregor hits it long inside of Slocum. Slocum does well on the cover. Sakuna back to Raconi. He once again gives the ball away. He really loves doing that. He's a, you know what? He's an expert at giving the ball away. Ball's whipped in. Wakefield does well. Moore hits it long. Only as far as Gillespie, who can't get hold of the ball. Moore hits it four. Gillespie is through one on one with the keeper. Pass to Connolly and Fitzsimmons makes a great save. That was our first real clear-cut chance of the game on a counter-attack. And uh, Connolly had a chance to make it 1-1. All right, so 65 minutes left on the clock. Let's see what um, happens here with this highlight, and then I'll probably make a change. Yep, I'm actually going to make a change to the formation and style as well. We've got to try and get a positive result. We're only one goal out of this game. So I'm going to bring off Cooper, who's been struggling with injuries lately. I'm going to put... Um, Ibamira on as a shadow striker to support the front two. And uh, yeah, we're going to go for that. We've also switched to a uh, we're going to switch to a more attacking style as well because we got to go for broke. We got to try and get a win here or at least a point. Sakuna with the header, only as far as McGregor, Porter to McGregor. Escapitas. Amlazor shoots from uh edge of the area and he goes harmlessly wide. So uh, 15 minutes left to go. We're still in this game. All right, 10 minutes left to go. Jeffers to Scapitas. Again, it's been mainly Chelmsford today, but um, you know what? It's only 1-0, and anything can happen when it's only 1-0. McConey hits it long, looking for Connolly. Can't get hold of it. Good challenge there from Wakefield. Gives the ball away, though, to Jeffers. Amalzor, good tackle from Williams. Amalzor gets it back though, whips it in and well challenged. Here's a counter attacking opportunity. Ibermir to Gillespie. Gillespie to Connolly. Great opportunity and he hits it straight at the keeper. Reese Connolly, that was an awesome chance to make it 1 1 and hopefully save our bacon for the season. Here the chance isn't over yet though. Uh, Williams whips it in and well clear from the centre half. Chris is going to scoop the ball up. Uh, Gleason. Gleason to Wakefield. Wakefield gives the ball away. Uh, Colby Moore as well to scoop it up. Williams hits it long. That's a very hopeful ball there. Here's a counter attack an opportunity for Chelmsford. He's got plenty of options there. Roberts hits it long. Dixon's now through. One and one with the keeper. Gets to the byline. Pulls it back. Skapitas, that was a good opportunity, but he misses the target from six yards out. All right, so five minutes left on the play. Raconi's going to hit this ball long, looking for Gillespie. Can't find Gillespie. And uh, here's enough opportunity for Chelmsford, probably. Hamalan hits it long. Chris as well to intercept that well read. Gleason to Ebermere to Wakefield. Back to Moore. Moore hits it long to Gillespie. Gillespie is going to play in Connolly once more. Plays it back to Gillespie this time, though. And uh, the ball's harmlessly cleared. Jeffers intercepts it to... Uh, Here's Dixon on the counter attack to Porto through on goal shoots and a great save from Racconi. He's actually played really, really well today. I'm going to make one final change, one last roll of the dice. I am going to bring on Anthony Guppy instead of Corby Moore. He's struggling for fitness and Guppy's a little bit more creative. So let's hope that change can get us back in this game. All right, Wilmot crosses in and well held from Racconi. All right, two minutes added on time here, and it looks like things are 
It's about full time, and yep, there it is. One nil defeat, two defeats now in a row. And uh, my sister managers don't be too harsh on the boys. They reacted positively to it. But that result has kept us in the relegation zone. But results did go in our favor. Gosport lost. Hungerford lost, as expected. Margate also lost as well. And Truro are actually catching up too. So we've got to keep an eye on them. They lost 1-0 to Ebbsfleet. So um, all the teams around us losing. Um, so it looks like it's going to be a very, very tough end of the season. We've now only got four games left to go to try and save our asses. First up, Hemel Hempstead. Then we play Bath. Uh, who is second place in the table, Whitehawk, and then Dartford. So we have some very tough fixtures. The next game is probably the easiest and win most winnable game out of them. So we've got to try and get a good result. Otherwise, we've now lost five in a row. And uh, we almost look certainties to get relegated unless something dramatic happens. But uh, thank you all so much for watching this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit like. Uh, if you want to see more videos by me, remember to hit that subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.